It was a trip some had been looking forward to. It was almost almost painful at times through here. Tom Sherry, well, he was ready to get rid of it. I, I thought it was a lot of fun, but uh, it did bother me. There to help were the barbers at Indies. Okay, I started out as the underdog in this. According to Cram's faithful viewers, it was Evan Nurani who grew the greatest beard. He sported the Abe Lincoln look briefly today. What was the Gettysburg Address like? <laughs> it was incredible. And it was him, the champion, who presented the check to the Community Cancer Fund. A thousand bucks of it, all earmarked for prostate cancer research and prevention. Because, after all, that's the true goal of No Shave November. It was 30 days ago when us men embarked on this journey. We weren't sure what lied ahead. Here with uh, fellow reporter Casey Decker. Casey's also participating. Casey, how do you like your chances? I, I think my chances are pretty good. But we knew we were taking part in an effort to raise awareness about men's health. Aside from skin cancer, prostate cancer, if you didn't know, is the most common cancer among men. And the Community Cancer Fund is a collaborative effort that works across the Inland Northwest. All the money that we raise goes to help Inland Northwest cancer patients, and it stays right here at home. And uh, we're just so very appreciative to be the cause of choice. Along the way, hundreds of you voted on who would have the best facial hair. The contest averaged around 500 votes a day at times. Ultimately, it was Evan Nurani who won with 48% of the vote. Mark Hanrahan came in second. It feels good, man. It feels uh, a little less itchy on that one side. But 30 days later, the journey had come to an end, and it was back to Bear Jaws for some. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's, I've never had that before, that kind of a of a shave with a straight blade, and it was awesome. In the end of uh, this journey, I ultimately decided that I'm going to keep this beard at least for the next month or so. They're going to do some... Uh, clean up work on this because what I found out is that the funny thing about beards is that they grow on you. In Spokane, Taylor Vido from 2 News.